Hello, hello, welcome. Can you hear me? My name is Abyssal Voice, and today I'm going to be playing Destiny. Specifically, the Iron Banner. All right, so for those of you who don't know, Iron Banner is a type of, I guess, crucible event where this guy, Lord Saladin, comes down from his mighty tower. Well, I guess now he's in the hanging out in the Cabal fleet. But he comes in and he allows the Guardians to uh, basically fight in the Crucible for Iron Banner reputation. To be honest, I don't exactly know what his main purpose of the Iron Banner stuff is, but we're going to do it. So reason why my life level is low and I have all this armor on instead of my usual great looks of my guardian is because I am uh, getting more XP. It's a rank boost. So the more banner iron banner gear I have equipped and the and an emblem and also there's challenges. I've completed three of the four four, which is like they're they're dropping pinnacle gear each day. I think the fourth one is the last. I guess, sadly, I got unlucky with the last one and got a 1810 weapon, uh, elemental weapon when I already have an 1810 elemental weapon. So yeah, that one's a bust. That one is a bust. But I recently got this Joram's Claw weapon, and I've got to say, it is really good. To the point to where it's been honestly carrying me through, carrying me through these uh, fights. Which, we got to say, is pretty funny that that's, uh, that that's the case. Okay, one second, sorry. Forgot to try, plug in my phone. I'm back. So. Uh, sorry. Still getting used to working, you know. Uh, so. Today will probably be, I mean, I know I say this many times and it turns out I don't. But I think I may stream a little early or not as long today. I have, honestly, I've been doing the same thing. I have been doing out of stream doing Iron Banner but I mean I enjoy it more whenever I have my things to listen to like my D&D &D game or my streams to absentmindedly listen to while I play but yeah so who knows maybe we'll have an hour stream maybe not there we go But I hope everyone's having a good day. My day was pretty good. I feel like it was pretty good. I don't know why, it's just I've been feeling stressed out these last couple of days, and today was like the first day I didn't. And so I find that to be a good thing. I need to start, I need to do momentum crash thing at some point. Because if I don't do it, and it's available now, then I'm going to have to wait for like the week uh, reset, which is like several weeks. But yeah, yesterday was my day off from streaming, but I did have my D&D &D game with my family, and uh, I gotta say... It was pretty fun, pretty, pretty, it was a nail-biting experience as well, because my uncle, who plays his character, almost team-wiped, like, team-wiped us again. <laughs> uh, there's so many times where he does something, and it almost kills the entire party. Oh, party-wipe, not team-wipe. But, yeah, it... 
basically this is not grand mind you this is homebrew to the extreme it is so homebrew that it's no longer D D fifth edition anymore it's just like whatever the heck my dm wants it to be because <laughs> he ah if i can only just talk about the entire thing but let's just say that i have a power to um that i can i have a power to where i can teleport myself and anyone else into another reality and that reality is like a safe space for me and my allies and it's a big reality like the size of a kingdom well my uncle had a power similar to mine where he has a lighthouse and he can connect his lighthouse anywhere in the world and immediately like use it to teleport and move it to him so he decided to connect it to my the lighthouse to my reality well when he will try to kill a boss by crash summoning his lighthouse and crashing it into um crashing it into the boss it also brought my reality in which is the size of a kingdom and nearly smushed us all like as i've said this is homebrew to an extreme so all of our characters are like characters with 10,000 points so Half of our party was able to survive. Uh, uh, well, to be picked up. I mean, it knocked half of us down, but we were able to get revived. But yeah, it's just, oh my gosh. This isn't the first time he's almost killed all of us. This time was almost as ridiculous as the time he summoned back Cthulhu with a wish. You trying to chase me? But yeah. Now we're finding a newly born god and hopefully we can beat them. We had to stop midway through the fight cuz we have a I mean we strictly play from 7 to 9. Which is funny since that's usually like the time I stream. So honestly, when I say my day off is Wednesday, it's not actually my day off from <laughs> from anything. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, this Joram's Claw is actually pretty good. And I have... I have um, Encore and Tricor. Uh, Encore and Golden Tricorn on it. I feel like it would be a good PvE weapon with these buffs. Don't... It's a great PvP, but not sure. I had one earlier that had Incandescent, and I kind of wish I kept that one instead. Because it would blow up the Guardians that I killed. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, Destiny's Crucible is so, so... Like, your ability to play is very reliant on the weapons you have because the moment I got this gun I started um, getting to the top of the leaderboards last night after struggling for so long but yeah my goal is for this Iron Banner season is try to reset my rank twice and to also get some good uh, rolls of weapons. I feel like I got a good enough roll for Joram's Claw to where now I can focus on the other weapons. But at some point I'm going to have to take a break and pay attention to the uh, pinnacles since I keep on missing out. All right, that wish ender is like a heavy uh, bow. Yeah, I get a bunch of XP if I lose. Oh, I get a whole lot if I win. Because of all the uh, 
of uh, because of all the um experience points stuff i have available darn it like every time we get to the other side okay never mind we were able to do it nice All right, I don't want to jinx ourselves. I don't want to jinx the team, but I feel like we got this in the bag. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, but I have to say, this week has been going by very slow. It's been dragging along to the point to where yesterday I was like, was this spring break last uh, last week? Like, I almost didn't, like, it's felt like it's been such a long time since spring break. That's the thing about school, about work. If, like, when you have a break... And you return from that break within the first week it feels like you have lost everything you have gained from that break because let me tell you i it does not feel like i had a week off all right are we able to kill eight of them before they kill 20 no 35 of us Take that seven imagine if like there was a team that did come up from like the other team was at 140 and they they were at 90 and they came up to win like, it's possible. Just everyone just needs to live and not die. Zone B captured. Zone ah, nice try. Alright. Oh dear. I keep on getting these autumn winds too. Side sideways now. Demolition. Nah. But yeah, on a loss I get 300, on a win I get 600. And see, I went from three fourths of the way Mythic to almost halfway through Mythic 2, which is rank 14. I'm trying to get to rank 16. So honestly, a few more wins and I got it. I'll get the neat little emblem that rather than a wolf, it's a war beast. Because uh, Saladin now serves the Empress. Quite literally. he's a, He is on her war council. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be yawning a lot, so don't mind me. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm probably gonna be focusing a lot on Iron Banner this weekend. Hello, Steph. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. <laughs> Bringing farts into the, into the mix of gunfire and supers. Yeah, I know you're probably having a rough day, but how are you doing? Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, don't I always? I'm doing good. Today was a uh, just an average day at school, <laughs> at work. 
Kids are still crazy, but that's how they are. I'm hanging there. I'm still sad about Sammy not being here. Mm. Yeah, it's always hard to lose a pet. Especially one that you've had for a while. It was going to be Victory is yours three next today. month. Aww. I don't, and also, like, I think guinea pigs can have a... Don't guinea pigs have a long lifespan or something? Or not that long, but longer than what I would think. Azriel, you... All right. Darn it. Psh. Oh dear. Get them my threadlings. Usually they can live up to eight years, but our last four lived up three to six years. Yeah. tell we're not going to win this one the flames are lit and you are the prey who had heart problems one had bladder stones i kept coming back and the other had ovarian cancer ah or guinea pigs Ah, got got them. Opponent claimed zone B. Opponent claimed zone A. All right. Not doing too well this match. <laughs> to be honest, blame the map. No, <laughs> no. I blame, I just blame other things. Yeah, it's super sad. That's what stopped us from getting another one after JoJo passed away. Mm. Yeah, like... On one hand, you might want to get one, or get another one, but on the other hand, it's like... You just lost one, and... You don't want to open yourself up to that hurt. Yeah, personally, it's been a while since I've had a pet. And sadly, I can't get a pet because of um, the rules of my apartment. But I really do want to get either a dog or a cat. Yeah, we might get another one eventually. I'm just not ready for one right now. But let me tell you, I do not. I don't like not having one around. You don't like not having one around. Yeah, because you get used to it and then... 
I'm a doggo person. Doggo. I'm a cat person. <laughs> uh, I've a, I'm a cat person, but it's been so long since my family has had a cat. Our last cat ruined it for everybody. It didn't like, it didn't like them except for me. Oh dear. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah! <laughs> wow. Alright. Am I making you proud, Saladin? I hope I am. <laughs> you probably snuck the cat treats. It is hilarious. Like, she had, um... She... She had a schedule. Because I was like little when we got her probably uh eight or six now i think i was seven I was, I was seven so one of the reasons why i think i bonded with sassy autumn that was the cat's name i didn't name her my sisters did uh my twin wanted to name her muffin i think or no not muffin my twin one named her sassy my older sister one named her Autumn, so they decided it was Sassy Autumn. I wanted to name her Muffin, but I, I was overruled. <laughs> but uh, when we got her as a kitten, I had gotten my tonsil out that week. And so I had to like, you know, I had to, I was basically in bed rest for a couple days because they didn't want me moving around too much because I was a little small child that just got surgery and so we hanged out a lot together during those times <laughs> I like that name it did grow on me but still I didn't appreciate the fact that I was overruled uh Oh, that's cute. She was your buddy. Yeah, it was funny because over the years, whenever I'd go to bed, she'd always have a system. She would like come in when I go into bed and stay in there for a bit on my bed as if she was like tucking me to sleep. And then she'd go out and patrol for an hour or so before returning back to my bed to sleep for the night. <laughs> uh... I truly learned the awesomeness of cats whenever I uh, started reading because a cat is an excellent book buddy meaning while you read you can sit beside a cat and just and just pet them over and over again then we had a system too she'll wake up at midnight then wake me up wake us up at midnight then wake me up at 2 a.m. for a tomato oh my gosh the glorious red fruit Excuse me. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. How you were a titan in your bubble shield. How did you lose that fight? All right, we got a kit. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, that was so close. That was so close. Just sneak a cat in, JK. I mean, I would love to, but like this apartment that I live in has a very strict no pet policy to the point where it's it's grounds for an immediate ev eviction. So yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. Though I do want to try probably in the next year or two I want to try to get a house or find somewhere else to live. 
where I can get a pet. And definitely will probably get a calf first. But I do want a dog at some point. I have to say, my favorite speed, my favorite dog are Australian Shepherds. They're nice. Mostly because they look like baby pandas when they are babies. When they're puppies. Oof, yeah, I don't chance it. I want to live in a house too. I had apartments. I like my apartment, but... I mean, it's a good apartment. But yeah. I would like a place to call my own. Oh, gee, I love Australian Shepherds. The last two dogs my family has had uh, have been Australian Shepherds. We had one named Sybil and one named Ray. Uh, my parents still have Ray in their backyard. And I get to see her every time I visit. She is a crazy dog, though. The love me crazy type of dog. The ones I saw on TikTok, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, one was... Wait. I think... One, yeah. One of them was probably Ray. But the other one was, uh, Ava. Which is, well, sadly, was my older sister's dog. But they actually had a put her down quite recently because she started having health issues as well but Ray the Australian Shepherd the doggo oh, I'm sorry to hear that like I said it's always sad to see a good a good fluffy friend go I don't know what co what's coming, Saladin. What is it? The witness? I'd like to see you try to fight the witness. No. You captured zone A. Opponent claims zone C. She's broadcasting li just broadcasting us fighting to Cabal. For what? Television? Oh dear. I have to say, so Crucible is literally, we were there for Sammy, Sammy when she got out down and I held her tiny hand. Aww. Well, you were there for her, but yes. I have to say... Lower wise the crucible is pretty interesting because it is literally like guardians actively killing each other. It's just, you know, where guardians can be revived. Oh god, we're fighting a clan, of course. But um the guardians can be revived, but like people actually like televise the crucible in the last city, lore wise, like people watch us kill each other for sport. I feel like that's really dark, though. You're pulling ahead. Zone A lost. I told the vet that Sammy had a cute. <laughs> I thought he said that to oh my gosh Let's talk about oh oh my gosh even I'm I'm starting to feel embarrassed <laughs> uh <laughs> zone B lost <laughs> let's just say you'll never use that vet again <laughs> no <laughs> oh gosh Them 
momentum. Keep pushing. Alright, come on. I gotta actually do something here. I haven't popped off like that last game. No. <laughs> we lost that last game and I still thought I did good. Darn it. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. All right. Element of surprise going around the back. Wasn't very, uh, you know, the thing, one thing that I also don't like about Crucible is that you will see the same weapons over and over again as you are being killed by the same gun over and over again because some weapons are just cheap and easy to use. Granted, I still, I, uh, I use that and abuse it. I hope she didn't think that, but oh well, she'll forget eventually. Or will she? <laughs> this just haunts her. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel like one of the reasons why I'm always like, mine, yeah, oh no. <laughs> I always have to second think and I have to always think about like what I say myself. For instance, instances like that. Because, like, it's just, you don't want awkward moments happening. Though, so, one funny thing, well, I mean, it was funny to me, but one thing happened. So, over the spring break, I guess one of my students... She's in cheer, so when she was practicing over spring break, she accidentally, like, jammed her middle finger. And so they gave her, like, a brace to help, like, you know, to help it. And so she put the brace on in class, and what the brace does is it straightens out the finger. And I could not, I like, I had to stop myself from laughing when I just look over at her because, like, she's just sitting there with her middle finger out. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> it's just funny. It's just funny because, like, normally that'd be something not you don't want, but she had to. OMG, yeah. Granted, she only, she's so far only wore it for like 30 minutes one day, like near the end of school. I haven't seen her do it again, but it's, it's just funny because I like, I look at her, <laughs> I see, and I just laugh. Darn it. Zone C captured. You have the advantage. Press on. Yeah, we have the advantage, but I'm not doing too good. Zone A lost. Ah. I think someone else killed him before. Mine. Ah, I didn't get him. <laughs> I helped. Three minutes. Yeah, but Saladin, when he used to show up in the tower back in Destiny One, you actually didn't see his uh face. He keep himself hidden beneath his helmet until the Rise of Iron DLC or expansion back in Destiny 1. <laughs> and that was the expansion where he got you, the Guardian, to avenge his fallen brethren.
Gosh. Follow them, brethren. Yeah. They went to a bunker to try to claim a technology to help help bring about a new golden age, but the technology was turned against them. They've almost taken this one. Make them earned. And now Saladin serves under the Empress of the Cabal. Acts. Honestly, if I get good enough with hitting the Guardians directly with these attacks, it could be good. Potential... Wait, no, this isn't C. Empress of the Ball. Cabal. And she is... Huge. She's big. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's going to be really hard to beat a clan. Because most likely they're actively in a voice call, like, planning with each other. And you had me a huge and ball. Too bad there's not like a... Um, usually the Destiny characters are somewhere in the universe. I don't know if Keitel, that's her name. I don't know if Keitel's anywhere. Because I do, I would show you her. I'm not sure if she's somewhere in the tower or not. Oh, I'm going to return to orbit so I don't get stuck with that plan again. Probably one more normal game, whether or not I lose, will be another level up, and then we just need one more level up, and I'll be legend. Ah. My first part of my goal this week uh, will be completed. <laughs> Gosh. But, I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe it's already nearing... Well, we still have several days worth, like... Eight, what, eight more days? Yeah, eight more days, but... March is almost about to be over. And soon it'll be April, and April will probably fly by like nothing, and then it'll be May. And that's when things slow down. Like, May's when everything slows down. God, it's so slow. <laughs> uh, which, in fact, my birthday is in May. So, that'll be fun. Yeah, May is all May is an interesting month because of all the birthday celebrations. Because not only do I have my birthday, and my sister, twin sister, has her birthday in May. You know, on the twenty ninth, my mom has her birthday on May the twenty fourth. So yeah, we were those types of babies being born five days after her birthday. Uh. Uh, but my niece, who will be turning two, was born on May 25th of last year, or of not last year, but. <laughs> and it's just like birthday, 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 four birthdays in one short span of days. Which I got to get with my twin to figure out if we want to go and do anything special for it.
Now, granted, while I don't believe anything will actually happen, I am under a thunderstorm watch, not a tornado watch, but... Supposedly, it should have been started by now, but... I think all it's done is rain. I'm trying to look out my window. It's definitely dark like it's about to storm. I would say one interesting thing about living in Oklahoma is that at some point you start to feel like you can like almost feel when a storm is coming. Like you almost sense it. Like they say that phrase, the calm before the storm, you can feel that calm. Because yesterday I walked out, uh, uh, I walked out of work and I just could, there's like a stillness in the air. I could tell. <laughs> oh, guess what? There was a tornado warning around here. Oh, gosh, dude. Do, does California usually get those? Like, I mean, I thought California was kind of outside Tornado Alley. Never. This was the first time. Oh, gosh. Well... A bit of a, some Oklahoma advice for tornadoes. If you don't have a shelter, the best thing is to get your mattress and go into the bathtub with the mattress over it. Also, don't be driving around during those times because the tornado can sneak up on you. Yeah. My, uh, my school, we actually got a bunch of go bags donated to us, which a go bag is basically a bag with all your essentials and stuff. So it's going to be a bag with a uh, first aid kit, water, uh, but we have a I don't think he'll fit. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, maybe the pillows will work. Gosh, that's, I mean, that's the thing, like, what if you have a natural disaster in a place that's not prepared for it? Like, it's one thing to have, say, a tornado in Oklahoma, but it's another thing to have, like, a, a gigantic earthquake, per se, or even, a, like, a hurricane. Can I lay on the floor with it on me? May, probably. Now, granted, these aren't the, the best things to do. And while I, am, I do live in an Oklahoma, <laughs> don't take my word as an expert. This is folklore, Oklahoma folklore you're hearing. <laughs> uh, we have earthquakes, fires here, now tornadoes. Well, hopefully the tornado doesn't combine and mix with the fire like a uh, like one of those, what, Sharknado movies or something? Firenado. There's probably a show out there somewhere or not a show but a book or a movie about a tornado made a fire maybe i'll try no no that's not good <laughs> no please don't highly advise against that because of all the debris in the air uh, yeah, but when I was little, I used to really be interested in watching Storm Chasers. Um, and it was a show like this. I mean, would it be a documentary? But, I mean, it was a show on TV that followed these uh, Storm Chasers during the storm period. And they were in these big, giant cars and vans and like they're almost like tanks built to uh withstand a tornado in fact one of them even had these like spikes where if you press a button it would like shoot the spikes into the ground to keep the van tank in place Oh, I used to watch that show. Yeah, eh? It's pretty interesting. Yeah, my... 
my family used to watch whenever I was growing up, we would watch American Idol, America's Got Talent. Dancing with the Stars was something that stood in our household for years. I'm directing the banner for and my mom United still calls States me to ask for me to vote for her favorite person, as she used to do. Uh, my gosh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. She really loves that show. I only lived through that because I was last world. We used to watch Paranormal Activity and it used to freak me out. Ugh. But yeah, I didn't do any of that scare stuff. Ooh, we also used to watch um, American Survivor. Or not American Survivor. Survivor. And then Amazing Race. That was always fun. But, oh, darn it. Right as we caught it. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I've been putting. I've been getting some games that aren't really in my favor. <laughs> what happened to the games I had last night? I promise you, I was doing awesome. Nah. And as we got older, they used to, they started to let us watch their crime shows like The Mentalist and such. I still watch paranormal stuff to this day, but hearing about mirrors being a portal freaks me out. Ugh. Darn it. To be honest, I don't like this map. It's too... It's too open in, in the middle. But you can get attacked from any direction. See, that's the reason why I don't watch scary... Like, it's funny. I will play a scary game and watch someone play a scary game. I refuse to watch a scary movie. Like, no. I don't know why I'm like that. We watch CSI 2, CSI New York, uh, Vegas. Uh, I used to watch In Way. What was it called? It was like In Y something something. And it was about In CSI. Yeah, I think so. In CSI maybe? Yeah. NCIS, NCIS, Navy Criminal Investigation System or something, but I, NCIS, yes, I love that show. I watched until the, I watched it until the 14th season. Um, I think it's still going on, but yeah, that was like my show to watch in high when i was in high school like that was a show i watched all the time before i started getting obsessed with anime and that was also back when i was into like um taking art classes and stuff so what i would do is i would take my artwork i need to work on a uh, home and while i'm working on art i just had it playing on an ipad while i do uh stuff Darn it. Let Your mom watched that too. She has good taste. <laughs> good taste in shows. Saladin, call the mercy rule. We're getting our butts handed to us here. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'll let her know you said that. <laughs>
And then I found anime. And that's where I changed. No. <laughs> no. Uh, gosh. My first show I actually like sat down and watched fully. Because when I was a kid, I used to watch a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Naruto that showed up on Cartoon Network, I think. Whenever I was a kid, uh, waiting for my mom to get done with work. Uh, but... Uh... Sword Art Online was the first show I actually, like, watched all the way. And then I chose the second show to watch, Your Lie in April, which was honestly... Sword Art Online is a good starter anime because it has all the tropes that anime has. Like, literally, it has almost all the tropes that an anime has. Scarily so. To where it's a good starter one. So Sword Art Online teaches you what anime could be and looks like. Your Lie in April teaches you how much an anime can affect you on a emotional level. Yeah, scary stuff is for everyone, but I'm sick and like watching the movies and most of the time they're cheesy, not scary. Oh yeah, I'm going to be honest, like before I started streaming, when I had nothing to do, because uh, I didn't have my computer either, I would watch like those B movies, like B horror films, like the the badly made horror films. Now, I will say I don't consider those scary because like, you know, they look fake. <laughs> so I don't consider those scary. But I had like, I just started watching a bunch of them. And that's just how I would, that's just how I would pass my time is watching those, uh, those B-horror films. Though there's one that I watched recently, and I wouldn't really call it a B-horror film. It was more of a suspenseful film, but it's called Rogue. And it's about, like, these people who get trapped. Uh, I don't know exactly where they are, but there's a really big crocodile slash alligator reptile trying to eat them. And it is actually pretty decent with the suspense. Like it's a it's a bit it's a bit older, so some of the some of the shots don't look so good. Like some of the, the times you can obviously tell uh that uh they're like on a green screen, but when the the beast, the monster, the alligator slash crocodile shows up, oh it it like gets good. Oh gee, I love you, yo. I used to watch the indie horror films and they were pretty good. I haven't watched all of Yu-Gi-Oh, but when I was in high school uh my library had um all of the manga for Yu-Gi-Oh from start to the finish of Yu-Gi-Oh which funny enough I actually started reading manga long before I watched anime but I only had like five actual series to read from Naruto Bleach um Full Metal Alchemist. Now that's a good one. Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, there was also uh, there was also some shoujo in it. With um, there was one called Library Rule Wars, where it's about this world, and it's like I said, shoujo, so it's like romantic and stuff. But I like a good romance. But it's about like this, uh, like the world if like censorship started getting too extreme so there were libraries that were fighting to like keep keep books on the shelves for the public to use ow i knew that was gonna happen that's a good library oh yeah it's a good library though <laughs> one thing i find funny is that they are taking advice from one of the kids um well I say kids, but, you know, he's my age, so he's 24 now, but one of the guys back then was, like, 
the one to tell them about like good series for manga and he told like hello i hello there zagger and he told them about i don't know i don't think he fully told them i think he just told them the name of like manga that should be in there and he told them about berserk and so the librarian actually bought <laughs> a like i don't know how many she bought but she bought a set of berserk manga books but she told me and like i knew this because i was this was during my senior year and i was uh one of my electives was uh being like the assistant and sh she told me that when she went to prepare it she opened up the first page and like if you've ever read berserk you know what i'm talking about and she's like Oh my gosh, that is not for high school. <laughs> uh, hello, Zagger. How you doing? Have you been enjoying the Iron Banner Crucible? The fight? Yes, I have. It's so gory. Oh yeah, that and more. Like, uh, that is like a true adult manga. Haven't touched it? Uh, but what about all the pinnacles you can get? You can get like three pinnacles. Granted, the I keep getting the same... I keep getting pinnacles for elemental weapons and I'm a little tired about it. I'm tired of it. I want more gear. It gets pretty bad too, I think, later on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I got killed by Wither Horde. You hate Crucible? So do I, but do you see me? <laughs> all all geared out in Iron Banner gear for the um darn it. For the uh XP. I'm not gonna get snapped again. Not gonna get snapped again. I will say, so far, these games, they've been kind of putting me... Well, I'm not going to blame the game, but let's just say I have a one in a bit. Yeah. My goal is to try to rank up twice in... Like, not rank up, but reset my rank twice in Iron Banner. Because I... I don't know. I don't know if I get anything special from doing that. But I kind of want to do it. And I also want to try to have a chance of getting some... Um, good roll gear. Darn it. So I will say next week, well, depending on granted, I should be able to reach my goal of what I want to do by um Monday. But I may potentially finish Evil Within on Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. I believe by then the new Resident, or not new, but the remake of Resident Evil should, at least the kid didn't suggest that for the library. Oh yeah. That would have been, oh, like, since I'm a teacher now, I kind of, I've like, I've had those types of conversations where it's like, oh, they found this book in the library or, oh, they're like this happened. So like, I understand the pain <laughs> that a T that the school might feel because of things like that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh.
Now, I'm going to be honest. I may be wrong, but I think my, um, I think my library may have also had a, a little bit of one piece that or because I remember seeing someone reading it, but I think it might, I mean, it, it was the same guy who was doing the, who like recommended Berserk, but, um, I think it was maybe his own stuff he was bringing, but I'm not sure if my library had one piece. Which, oh my gosh, if I had started back then on One Piece. Ow, that travels too far, in my opinion. Rusty. Maze little brother getting caught by her mom because... Oh my gosh. Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, like... And here's the thing, like... I have students who say they watch anime like Attack on Titan and stuff. And also like... Devil Man... Or not Devil Man. Uh, Chainsaw Man. And I'm just thinking like... I mean, those aren't like... Too bad. But they are... Not school or age appropriate. I feel like too many parents just look and see that it's a cartoon and think or not cartoon but see the animation style and think oh it's just a cartoon it's not it's a medium it can be bad oh snap if if they're gonna catch up this is the time they do it get together do not lose strike fear in their hearts Hide. Return to the fight. They've almost taken this one. Make them earn it. Oh no. Oh no. I'm getting surrounded. Darn it. Uh, yeah, that lost us the game, probably. We could still potentially win. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. Uh, like I said, I like to win at least one of these. <laughs> but it's not. But the other team's not letting us. Eh, I'll say that was a better game. It was really even. I'll say the first day of Iron Banner was total like me getting steamrolled. The second day of Iron Banner was me steamrolling others. This day has been the day of, hey, you guys are neck and neck for this. 17. Okay, 17 is not too bad. Okay, I got Mythic 3. Which I believe is close to where I need. But I'm ready for the weekend. I'm ready for the chance to sleep in. That's the one thing I enjoyed over the spring break. Because, like, I'm the type of person who, when I wake up, I need to have, like, many, many moments just lay in the bed just to, like, function. In fact, when I was little, when my parents would wake me up, they just moved me toward, to the living room couch where I would just, like, lay down for 10 minutes before I was finally, finally up and at them. And, like, I don't get that chance to do it during the weekday. Because when my alarm clock goes off, I got to get ready. At least tomorrow's Friday. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow, I plan to give them a test. So all I have to do is just have them do that test. And they'll probably spend most of their time doing that test. So, yay. 
I won't. Destiny. I know they said they're going to do server maintenance at some point, but I thought they said it'd be tomorrow. Test. Yeah. Granted, it's not like a test uh, that um, is for a grade. Uh, we use a test to regular. We uh, have them take this test um, a lot. Like, we have them take it like two to three times. Or no, every two to three weeks. And it's a test that will change based on, um, based on how well they pro, how well they do in progress. So it gives us like data of how their growth is in reading on my part. And so I'm going to have them do it tomorrow. And I also like to use it as a time to practice the quote-unquote testing environment for the state test that's coming next month because that is like you cannot talk during that just watch anime while they do their tests i'll be grading while they do their tests i have about a hundred papers i need to get through tomorrow <laughs> i got through a hundred papers today that was for one class now i gotta do the other class I will say during my plan time and my uh, quote unquote lunch break that I never actually use for a lunch break because you don't have time to do anything else. I um I I listen to D and D stuff while I grade, and it does help me like you know relax and get ready for the next stage of the day. Darn it. Ah. <laughs> uh, D and D works too. Yes. Yeah, it's a good way to just. It's a good thing to put on when I'm trying to work on something. That way I can like absentmindedly listen as I'm working. You captured zone C. Two zones are yours. Together, nothing can stop you. Darn it. That's dang. Oh my gosh. I don't like people who use shotguns. I'm not the type of person who's like, oh, shotguns are so easy. They take no skill. No, they take skill. I understand because I tried to use it. I tried to do it once. And so I know better, but I still do not. Uh, people using shotguns. Zagger, you know that one gun that you really like? The that shoots all the little thorn things and it's an auto aim gun there are a bunch of people who use that in iron banner it is annoying because it's auto aim you don't have to aim there's no skill in using it <laughs> oh my gosh i like shotguns and apex Yeah, just uh, the slidey, shooty, stabby guys are just a joy to play with. <laughs> nah, I know like it's an actual legitimate strategy and it doesn't always work. Like there. <laughs> Didn't work that time.
like iron lords. All of us together like iron lords. A powerful statement. Darn it. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Come on, capture it. Nice. Got lucky to join in late on this one. <coughs> Peace of mind. I've never... I don't think I've seen that gun. Ah, and I feel like as a warlock, I can't really do the whole shotgun thing because I am a warlock. There are some uh, mobile abilities that I can use, but not a lot. Hello, friend. Where did my other... Oh, he went around. <laughs> Didn't have my back. Oh. <laughs> I kid. Zone A captured. Two zones are yours. Oh, that's not a good sound. Yes, death right there. They all have their supers ready to use, and they're probably going to use them to destroy us. And they're about to do it. This is where we lose. This is where we die. Yep, they're casting them. They're using them. Dodge it. Nope. Darn it. <laughs> Another hunt will come soon. I wish I could. I don't think I you you're able to thread that gap perfectly, like I like my mind was wanting. I had no really reason to take all that anger out on you, singular person. gosh finally a win but i'm at the bottom of the leaderboard <laughs> Zone C lost. at least my title sound is correct i disappoint saladin That's it. yay i did so much Ooh, i finally got the um chest plate You could have done better. Hey, but we won. <laughs> You're going to really shame me for being at the bottom? <laughs> yeah, I could have done better. I mean, at least my combat efficiency is above one. Mental capacitor. Hmm. Heating up, what does that do? All right. I'll keep this. No, I'll keep this one. Right, but that did give me a lot of points.
Probably two more games and I'll reach legend. Ah, hello, chill. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm just enjoying some. Well, enjoying is a strong word for Crucible, but I'm, I am playing I am Book Banner, doing my best to try to get that rank reset and any pinnacles that come from it. Hey, yo, Abyssal, you got this, Abyssal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, let me tell you, the gameplays have not been <laughs> that good, but thank you. <laughs> New map, the I void of space. Never mind. Reach a Kaibel's flagship. Give them an education on Guardian warfare. You captured Zone C. Wow, they're ready. Opponent Going to be zone A. Opponent claimed zone B. Snap. Oh, they're already about. Oh my gosh, this is bad. They're already about to do it to us, huh? Okay, I got him. All right, that kind of startled me because I was very focused on the guy with the shotgun coming up. Let the wolves rest. But <laughs> captured zone A. Opponent claimed zone All right. Ah, oh, the Jade Rabbit. That's like my nemesis in Crucible. Oh my gosh. That's such bad experience with people using the Jade Rabbit. Now, granted, I could be that type of guy and use it myself. Ah, uh, you're using the poison bow. All right. All right, start on new you. No, you're good. You're good. Zone A lost. It's just I saw a guy with a shotgun. The next thing I know, I have a fart in my ear. Imagine there was a gun in Destiny that farted when you shot it. Oh, dear. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. I'm back. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> that person keeps on capturing A, we could potentially 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 there's person I see. The fires are lit. Find your prey and end them. All right. That got us caught back up. All right, that's good. That's good. Return to the fight. Opponent claims zone C. Zone B 
Nice. Go, my threadlings. I know that person's the one that has a shotgun. They're gone. Ba bum. No, they're not gone. They're right there. I gotta say, I've been seeing a lot of people using Ace of Spade in this, and they have been destroying me as well. Nice. A well time shot. Yeah, my safety. Ah, oh, uh. I punch someone, they don't die. They punch me, I die. Makes sense, no. That was a mistake. That was a waste. Zone B lost. Five minutes. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Emoting on my allies, huh? Well, that serves you. Well, that's a, that's a bad thing. That's another bad thing. If I hide here, maybe they won't notice me. I was somewhat right. Gosh darn it. Opponent claimed zone B. <laughs> Cut their momentum. Keep pushing. You captured zone B. Two zones are yours. Right. The hunt is on. Again. Wow. Okay. I feel like overall we were about even in terms of fighting, but they just kept on keep they just kept on capturing those zones. Oh well. Uh, that's the best thing I could have done. No, it wasn't. The hunt has ended. Opponent claims zone C. Ah! I won the punch out. Punch, 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 punch. Okay. Rest for now. Ooh, do I have the uh what have you is this the final one? Nope. Not the final one. Yeah, purple weapon. I already have that one. Slideways, nope. Alright. We win this next game.
we'll get the level up. If we don't, we're probably playing another game. Uh, don't mind the cursor sliding slowly to the left. Aren't it? But chill, have you been having a good day? <sighs> My day was average. <sniffs> what was kind of today? Ah, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> Work takes it out of you. But I've got some good news. Oh, okay. Iron <coughs> Wait, is that the... That's the exotic shotgun from the raid. Coming in here with that. The Scions are running the odds on your victory, Warlock. Wait until they see you fight. He actually called me a warlock. <laughs> He's been calling me a titan this entire time I've been playing. You captured zone C. I don't think he's called me a warlock since right now. Uh. Darn it. Someone's over at B, about to t start taking it, or sort of they're right there, hmm. Ah, that was your mistake. Getting into a corner with me, with my Wither Horde. Snap. Uh, I don't know why it lit up. Here, about work. Good news, Busty. Don't keep us... Besty. Don't keep us in suspense. Brew. Zone B lost. You've lost the lead. Darn it. Sometimes you can kind of tell how control game's going to go because at some point you get to a point where that when your team captures a zone, the other team captures a zone. Nah. 
But it seems like we're about to uh, lock uh, lock them out. <laughs> oh, it wasn't it wasn't quick I wasn't quick enough to um save my friend there. Excuse me, is there someone here? Yes, there's someone here. <laughs> Hiding behind. I don't know if that person was AFK, but I saw that they had a shotgun, so I do not uh I am not ashamed. I say seeing a lot of people use quick silver storm. It's actually been a Pretty decent weapon being used against me, mind you. You captured zone C. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Someone's near me. I see you. Nice try. Thank you, buddy, for helping me. I got one. Uh, they hit, I mean, I don't think it would have done anything, but the fact that it hit that pillar went to the side away from the enemy was a little sad. Brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, I'm not I'm not letting you take this from me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, kinda silly how I died. Oh no. It just exploded and I was too damaged and too close to the wall. Still. That made me feel better. <laughs> Getting my threadlings. Getting a new job. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Is there anything like your other job? Something that won't stress you out? That's good. If Is it anything like your other job? Minus the stress? Then a volley. You captured zone A. Zone advantage nope. is yours. Ah. Zone B lost. Oh, I see. Darn. Okay. So Wither Horde could definitely beat a um well of radiance. They've given enough time. Direct hit. Direct kill. It's less stressful because I won't be dealing with patients. But yeah, definitely less stressful. That's good. I'm gonna be honest, any type of any type of thing where you're having to deal with the people, that's stressful. <laughs> so the fact that now you're gonna be able to like not have to deal with patients, that's good. That's definitely good. So congratulation. Zone A lost. <laughs> Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure and you have them. Zone 
Alright. Ah, oh, darn it. Keep thinking I have a lunch, but I don't have a lunch. We just need one kill. One kill. Good. I I feel bad for doing that. All that guy was doing was putting on a cowboy hat. I don't I feel bad, but honestly. Oh no, I gotta. Okay, I gotta beat Legend rank now. Alright. Alright. Well. I know it's only an hour 30 minutes in, but I think I'm going to end early. Given that this is Thursday and all I'm going to be doing is Iron Banner. I think I'd be better doing it listening to some tunes. So, I'm... I... I'm going. I will see you guys uh, uh, later. Uh, I'll come back Monday. I'd like to thank everybody for coming around and watching the stream. And I hope, Steph, I hope that you're doing all right. And I hope everybody else has a good weekend. I'll see you later. Oh dear. Okay. I need to get a new controller. I need to stop breaking my controllers. Okay. On that note, bye. Bye, Steph. Bye, Chill. See ya.